everyone welcome to day nine in our official last full day in paris um we are about to head to the shakespeare and company bookstore we tried to go yesterday but it was a bank holiday and we could not go so take two um fit check orange shirt blue jeans dogs black and white with a diamond studded jean jacket that's it green black and a belt today Ooh. Ooh. She's fancy today. She's anyway. styling. <laughs> um, okay, well, we will see you all later. So, farewell for now. Au revoir. Hello, everyone. We have made it back to the apartment. We went to the Shakespeare and Company bookstore. I got two books. Cassie got three books. Meme got two books. And, and some bookmarks. Yeah. Um, I don't really know what I expected it to be, to be honest, but it was a very cute little book sh uh, bookstore. Apparently, a lot of famous authors used to go there back in the day, is what I found on Google. Um, anyways, then we went to Musée d'Orsay, Musée d'Orsay, and we split up and we all went to the different things that we wanted to see. Again, I really like to see the sculptures, so I went and saw that. Casty saw? Um, some Degas, some Van Gogh, that era. Then I saw. Also, in addition to that, I saw Gauguin, all the statues, and um, I found a lot of new one, new uh, impressionist artists that I really liked. Um, so that was really interesting too. Who were very good and a modern one too. So that was fun. And then we went and got lunch. We went to this crepe cafe. I got a crepe that had like eggs, ham, and cheese. I got an artisan. Oops, sorry. I got nope. an artisan yeah. sausage and a crepe and with the uh, mushrooms and that was delicious. And then I ordered a crepe Suzette for dessert with flaming uh, Grand Marnay liqueur and it was very delicious. For dessert, I had a crepe as well. I had a brown butter, no, brown sugar and vanilla butter crepe. Okay. And I didn't eat. <laughs> That's such a I got a veggie crepe and then a honey crepe. It's okay. okay. And then we chatted. And then we have now taken an Uber and we are back in the Airbnb and we have about an hour to get ready and change and chill. And then we are going to the symphony. Yay! Ooh. Philharmonic! Yeah. Paris Symphony! Should be fabulous. Playing Mozart. Yeah. So those are all of our updates for now and we will see you all later. Farewell. Au revoir. A bientôt. Hello. Hello. Meme and I are dressed and ready for the Philharmonic Orchestra cast. Oh. Okay. Cassie is wearing the same thing, so she chose to opt out of this video. I changed into a black dress and my docks because those are the nicest shoes I brought. And I'm wearing the dress that I wore to Katie's graduation because that's the only dress I have, but I did bring this no wrinkle little sequined cardigan. Cardigan. It's not a cardigan, but a, uh, a flimsy coat like the thing. So, anyway, that's what I got. Ready to listen to some music. We're ready. Mozart, here we come. Hello, everyone. We have made it home from the symphony. It was absolutely phenomenal. We all were a very big fan. Um, apparently, French people do not do standing ovations. Very much an American thing. So I think we clapped for a long time. Maybe like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Felt like 10 minutes at mm -hmm. least. Um, and the guy, the uh, composer, not the composer, conductor guy, just came back out maybe like five or six times and kept bowing and kept pointing at all of the different sections to um bow um yeah so the music was absolutely phenomenal i will insert a couple of the photos that i took here and then our uber ride home wow made friends guys made it friends she talked french the entire time 30 minutes it was quite quite uh Impressive. What do you have to say for yourself, Cassidy? I just want to say to any of the followers out there who do know French, um, if you engage me in conversation, do not expect <laughs> to be impressed. But otherwise, yep, I did great. They talk for 30 minutes. I mean, she's got to know. We got the point across. She's got to know something. She did really well. Yes. She did phenomenal. I tried really hard. Yes. It hurt my brain. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then we came back and to celebrate our final evening of the trip, we got gelato. And I got a scoop of mango and a scoop of lemon. Cassidy got mascarpone in a waffle cone. Okay, you got mascarpone and fig. Also in a waffle cone. And then I got and I got caramel and uh, tiramisu in a waffle cone. Yeah. And now we have wandered back. We are back in the Airbnb. We're going to shower and pack up because tomorrow we head home. I would like to thank you all of my followers for coming back to season two to follow us along on our journey. Um, it's also been nice to have some new people along with me on the trips. So anything you two would like to say for yourselves before signing out for the last well, time? Well, I got to say Cassidy really stepped up. Uh, she did all the laundry. She did went out and got groceries. She did numerous things to make sure, you know, we were well taken care of. And Katie was the incredible Google woman. She did Google Maps. She checked for Google tickets. She was doing everything Google. She got groceries I am also. Google, actually. <laughs> I mean, she is an aficionado. They both, I couldn't have done this trip without them. They were fantastic helps to me. So thank you, Mama. Thank you to both of them for making this a great vacation. I'll never forget. I'm just happy to be here, guys. <laughs> I'm honored. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thank you, Meme, for such a wonderful trip. You're welcome. Bonsoir. Um, thank you. So this Bonsoir. Is, this is Kate and Cass and Ronnie signing out for the very last time from Paris. So thank you for following along on day nine. Good night. Bonsoir.